Hey guys, Glenn here. We're in the new studio here and we're going to go over what filaments I use for my uh, 3D printing business for Etsy um, and uh, if other more expensive ones are worth it or you should just go for the cheap ones. Now, let's go over here. I have been experimenting with a lot of filaments here. Um, I only have four printers. I got a couple more on the way because I just can't handle the volume that I'm doing right now. But um, since I've been doing um, over $100 a day now, I am experimenting with all the filaments because if you start spending money on the very expensive filaments, uh, it's going to add up. I wanted to see if the cheap filaments would be worth it to buy and um, I have uh, done the research so you guys don't have to. Now first thing I'm going to go over is Tech Bears. I don't have that here because I sent it back to Amazon. It was terrible. It didn't adhere to the bed and it was basically clear when it was supposed to be white. Now, uh, next, we're going to go over Amazon. Amazon, this is Amazon right here. Um, it is on the cheaper side and you can get them for less than $20 if you buy three of them at one time. But um, I've had a lot of problems with it being either too matte or too glossy and you can't make them consistent. If you're trying to keep uh, everything consistent, it's not going to be consistent and it honestly looks like crap when you do like a sign for instance uh, because it gets glossy and then not glossy and glossy and then not glossy and it looks cheap. So I would not recommend Amazon um, filaments, at least black. Uh, I've tried the blue and the white. The white was fine. Um, the blue was okay. Um, but it also was very hard to get the supports off on a supported uh, SDL. Um, now, next would be Overture. These, um, it's a matte PLA. Um, I would not use this except uh, if you're doing a specific project. Um, a specific project would be something that you need it to be fuzzy. Um, it does not print very well. It's it's okay, but um, and it's and it's pretty pretty cheap. It's like twenty bucks per at least at this time in the video. Um, but it, it's not worth it to me because it's it gives it a weird consistency, a weird feel. It's like a fuzzy or a very um, sandy feel. Um, next, um, I got some cheap ones from like China that like no name brand. They actually printed okay, uh, but very hard to get the supports off. Um, this gold so the gold is a, is a weird so this is the brand name of this gold T T T Y T it's actually very good um, I've tried the two different golds that one and Amazon the T T T Y T was way better um, and it was cheaper so uh, definitely go with that and it looks like a real gold I can show you over here um, this is actually that gold all of these I designed and sell on my Etsy shop um, so the, the Amazon was more of like a yellowish. Um, this is the Amazon underneath, but you really can't see it. Um, the difference, it's, it's kind of, uh, it, it's, uh, it's, it shows in the print that the other one's better. Um, now, um, I've also used Sunlu, which is okay. This is a Sunlu here. I don't like how they ship them because they have these three bands around them, uh, which are reusable. They're like um, a Velcro band, which is kind of cool. However, um, it's a pain in the butt when you're trying to do a lot of production and I have to do one of these or five of these a day um, When I go through it, it's 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 a lot uh, to unpack and everything so that's why I wouldn't go with this unless uh, but it is cheap So that's good now um, What else do I have here? I have marble PLA This is marble PLA um, I have used Hatchbox and I have used J.O. Now, um, this is the J.O. I have converted to that because Hashbox is like $35 or whatever. J.O. is like $21, $22. Um, and the Hashbox is slightly better, but there's no way it's almost worth almost double the price. It's not even close. Um, silver. This brand of silver has been really good. Um, I don't even know what brand it is. Um, I, don't, I doubt I can even find it anymore. But if you want to look for it, uh, it's a very, very shiny silver. Now, I also have uh, Prusa, Prusa Silver. Um, it's um, Galaxy Silver, uh, which is very good. Um, but, uh, you know, who wants to pay for uh, Prusa filament? That's crazy. Um, I have not tried um, Inland yet. I will be getting to that. If you guys want to know how it is, comment, and I can make a separate video on that. So, um, the best filament out of all things, um, also this J.O., 
for instance. This is um, the only jail that I'm kind of having a problem with. I mean, it prints fine, but it's, uh, this one is hard to remove the, um, the tree supports. I'm not on this one specifically, but I make these um, little statue things with tree supports, and it's kind of hard to remove the um, supports um, with this specific color, but JL on every other color, I've used white, black, blue, red, uh, everything. Um, JL is the cheapest, and it's been the best so far. Um, now, if you want to spend good money, or a lot of money, um, go with Hatchbox, because Hatchbox is obviously the best filament. You probably already know that, um, but uh, Hatchbox is very expensive, so JL is the winner for every single one. When you're going to be doing lots of production and spending lots of money on filament, you don't want to be spending $30, $35 a roll. Spend $20 a roll. It's almost half the price, and you're going to be making so much more money on your revenue. So I hope this helps someone out. Um, let me know if anyone else has any questions. I've tried some other filaments uh, that I probably can't even remember. Uh, just ask below if you have any questions and uh, I'll be sure to answer them. Thanks for watching guys.